Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm back to do your weekly readings. This is for Virgo. Happy birthday, you guys. I hope you are enjoying your birthday season, living it up, having fun. So yeah, here we go. Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Virgos. Love messages, please, for Virgos. What do they need to hear and know for this week? Let's get with it. Nine of Swords for Virgos. The full energy and the justice. For some of you Virgos, individual messages for you guys, I feel like if you're afraid to take that leap of faith when it comes to like a job or, you know, transitioning in from one place to another place or doing something brand new that you've never done before, go ahead and take the leap of faith. It is the right thing to do. I see some of you stressing out when it comes to moving out of your comfort zone. So don't be afraid to step out, okay? And do something like totally different, like out of the box. I know Virgos can get very comfortable um, because you guys kind of like routine. You like knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> But try to be more spontaneous is what I'm feeling this week, okay? But with the Nine of Swords, the Fool, the Justice card, it could be dealing with the Libra for some of you. I feel like someone has been worried about taking a leap of faith with you when it comes to your love life, okay? They could be wanting to take this leap of faith, but they're also stressing about it at the same time. Now remember, vice versa, this could be you or your person that I'm picking up, so the stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go. So let's get right into it. Nine of Swords. Okay. What is this? We have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is definitely stressing out, possibly about a decision. Okay, trying to balance out their emotions. Uh, temperance is here. Balancing out their emotions. Sagittarius is energy. And then Nine of Cups. They know that they desire this. Someone... <laughs> You guys, someone could be like trying to figure things out while they're drinking. I'm getting that energy as well. It's like, I want this, but how do I approach Virgo? Or how do I say this? Or what would be Virgo's decision if I said something to them? What is this person stressing out about? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Emotions. Wow. King of Cups. What is this person str stressing I cannot talk, y'all. Woo! Stressing out about. We are in retrograde, so forgive me. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. And the Sun. Whoa, Virgo. You are this person's happiness. This is what they're stressing about. They're stressed because they have a lot of emotions for you. This could be very difficult for them. Possibly a Leo. The Sun and the Strength card is Leo's energy. Someone is stressing out about this. They're having a difficult time because they are picturing the two of you being together. Show me the full energy, please, for Virgos. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This could be stressing you out as well. The Seven of Wands. What's that full energy, please? And the King of, King of Swords could be an air sign. Yeah, this person could be working on being more open, more loving, more affectionate. This person could be thinking, you know what? I need to express my emotions. I've been too cold. And you may be thinking this as well, Virgo. Like this person has been very blocked or guarded with the Seven of Wands energy. They need to work on this and they know they do. They know they need to take a leap of faith and stop being scared or, you know, being apprehensive to opening up to you. Okay, show me what else is going on in this person's mind right now towards Virgo. Yeah, they're feeling conflicted here. Five of Wands. Oh, I pulled two. They want another chance with the judgment, but the Four of Cups is here. Also afraid of rejection. Ooh, this person is definitely an overthinker. If they're not an air sign, they overthink. Nine of Wands. They feel like giving up at times with the Nine of Wands energy. I feel like this person is a bit too hard on themselves. Ooh, what's this justice card? Ooh, four of wands. Yeah, someone is ready to, it's like get married, have a relationship. 
wondering if you want to do this, taking this to court, making things official. Justice, show me. <clears throat> wow, the lovers is here. Gemini's energy and then the Knight of Swords, another air sign energy coming through. <clears throat> Like, I can tell this person is a bit anxious. They're ready to get things going with you. They're ready to get things moving with you. But I feel like it could be an Aquarius as well, another air sign. They want to heal this. You are their wish with that Aquarius energy coming through with the star. But they are definitely overthinking the situation. Yeah, what is causing this person to overthink? Why are they overthinking so much? emperor who they are very controlling yeah three of swords this person is very controlling with their emotions because remember the emperor controls everything okay that could be in a good way or a bad way so this is showing me that with the emperor and the three of swords that this person is controlling because they always think that they're going to get hurt or, you know, they don't want, they protect their emotions because they don't want anything bad to happen to them. Like they go into self-protection mode, which is, I mean, basically the same thing that I said before. They're, they're afraid to get hurt. Okay. So this person, they put up a good front, but underneath it all, this person is like a ball of nerves. Okay. And they could be an Aries with the emperor energy. Show me what's going on in this person's mind. Con okay, concerning Virgo. That's too many cards. What's going on in this person's mind concerning Virgo? Seven of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Page of Cups. They're still trying to figure out how to come toward you. Seven of Swords. It's like secretly planning. Not really saying much. Kind of keeping communication to themselves for now. But they're planning to, will a fortune in the future come forth with some type of offer or communication? It may be small, but trust me, behind the scenes or behind that, uh, that cold heart, <laughs> seemingly cold heart or cold exterior, this person has a lot of emotion because that's what we see here at the, at the very beginning. King of Cups, Ten of Cups, the sun, like, wow. But this person is stressing Ace of Wands. Look, wanting to start something very passionate with you. Something just flipped over. Yes, look. The Strength card with the Empress. This is how they see you. The Emperor already came out. Look at that. So this person, they kind of put you on a pedestal. And that makes it difficult for this person to feel like they live up to your expectations or your standards. They may see you as a person who has high standards, okay? How is Virgo feeling at this time? Queen of Swords, whoo! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ace of Cups, how is Virgo feeling? The Hermit, yeah. <clears throat> you, you have this mindset right now, Virgo, of... It'll happen when it happens. Whenever this person is ready to come to me, they will come to me. Whenever that I'm going to be in hermit mode, your energy, uh, the energy of hermit is uh, Virgo. So it's like, I'm going to be in hermit mode. And until you are ready to open up completely, Ace of Cups, I'm going to have my guard up, Queen of Swords. So you're like, you're going to have to come to me. <clears throat> Maybe you've always fixed things with this person. Maybe you've been the more, you know, communicative one. Maybe you've been the one to reach out, you know, and now you're like making this person come toward you. Potential outcome for this week. Three of wands. Okay. Still a bit of waiting here. Could be long distance as well. Hanging man. Yeah. Things are a bit stuck or on pause. Yeah. Four of swords. This person is still doing a lot of thinking, waiting and thinking this week, okay? The world card at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, I tell you, Virgo, for some of you, you may get tired of waiting and close out this cycle. You may get tired. Ace of Pentacles, some of you may get another offer. Because four of pentacles, this person may still hold back and move slow. Knight of pentacles and then death with the world. That's like a final ending. 
Okay? You may be like, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to keep waiting on this person to say something to me. Anything else uh, for Virgos that they would need to know about this person? Anything else from this deck? Narcissist self-worship. Yeah, this could have been something that you dealt with with this person or have been dealing with. Because there's a reason why you have your guard up, Virgo. So it's not to say that this person is an absolute narcissist or anything like that. For some of you, that may be true. But for others of you, I'm feeling like this person, maybe they are used to you doing everything. Or they're used to other lovers giving them the attention that they've always, you know, craved. And so that's kind of like, you know, someone being in a place of, you know, come to me. I want you to come toward me. And now you're in a position where you're saying, no, I'm not coming toward you. I need you to put in some effort. I need you to show that you love me just as much. One uh, other one fell out. Strong bond. Yeah, this is a strong bond that you have with this person. And it could be hard to just walk away. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like those of you who will choose to walk away, it's not like it's easy. Because I feel like there was something very... Uh, strong between you and this person that makes it hard to just let go, you know? One more. And short. This could, could have been a, a short-term relationship. Um, this could be something that started really fast and then stopped just as fast, but there was such a strong connection that it's hard to walk away or it's hard to forget this person. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, secret lovers, forbidden love. This could have been someone that you met uh, a short time of time ago for some of you as well. <clears throat> could have been like within last year or the last six months, the last three months for some of you. Mm. I feel like someone really needs to work on learning how to communicate their feelings because someone may be very loving and giving, this person may be very loving and giving, but they're coming off as a narcissist or someone who's all about themselves, more selfish. That's what I want to say. This person may be coming off as more selfish. Advice for Virgos. Advice for Virgo? Clairsentience. It says, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings. As they signify divine guidance. What do you feel? What are your emotions feeling? Get in touch with your emotions this week, uh, Virgo. Because if you've had enough of waiting, then you've had enough. But if you feel like the, sh the strong bond is worth, you know, fixing. And you really do want to wait on this person. Notice those feelings as well. Don't avoid your feelings. What is the advice for the cross watcher dealing with the Virgo? Cross watcher dealing with the Virgo sensitivity look at that yeah i feel like someone needs to get in touch with their sensitive side it says you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings look at that you guys yeah <laughs> so yes for the cross watcher make sure that you are showing virgo your feelings both of you have something with feelings this week and both cards have like the same color so there could be a mirroring going on where the two of you are both having a hard time opening up and having a hard time expressing how you feel because you may feel like well they need to come to me and they may be feeling the same way well i'm waiting for virgo to come to me so there that can create a bit of a standoff so both of you guys need to learn how to open up this week. Anything else Virgo should know from this deck? Anything else Virgo should know about this person? I miss you. I miss us. Sad without you. Can't sleep. I yearn for you. Wow. No kids. Not ready to be a parent. I don't want kids. This could be something that was discussed or this is a person without children. Soulmate, twin flame, best friend, favorite person. Wow. That's that twin flame stubborn energy, you guys, when there's a bit of a standoff, okay? When you may feel that strong bond, yeah, that soulmate bond, twin flame bond. When there's a, a struggle here or sometimes when lovers are at a distance and they can't seem to bring themselves together or there's been emotional distance, sometimes that could, it could indicate twin flame energy. 
when you mirror each other, you see a part of your soul in another person, you guys. So this could definitely be <clears throat> something that's hard to let go of. I do see that there's a capability to work on this, to repair whatever has been broken. But the two of you have to come to some type of agreement to be able to move forward. Alrighty, Virgos, happy birthday again. I hope you guys are living it up. Take a shot from me. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.